Hi guys, I hope you're all well and welcome to episode 82 of the James Layton Fitness Podcast. Now within this episode we'll be discussing some big fat loss principles that I think a lot of people don't discuss. They don't really talk about that much but I can guarantee if you apply these properly they can make a significant difference to your fat loss progress. Additionally, by applying these strategies, it will allow you to maintain as much muscle mass as possible within the fat loss phase. Now, the first tactic I want to discuss is something I've discussed on Instagram and on YouTube this week, and that is using the minimum effective dose to bust through fat loss plateaus. I think one of the massive principles that people seem to forget is fat loss plateaus are all part of any given fat loss phase. I think there's so many people are still under this false impression that if they find these magic set of calories and macronutrients that they'll continue seeing fat loss progress on those figures forever and that's completely incorrect. You will see fat loss plateaus and you will need to make changes to either your calories and or your cardio to continue seeing fat loss progress and I think if you just take away that message today from this episode, you'll be further ahead than 99% of people who are trying to achieve their fat loss goal. So therefore, understanding that you need to make a change to calories and or cardio to bust through the plateau, we'll discuss in detail what sort of type, the types of changes you should be making, the types of changes you shouldn't be making. And I think this principle of the minimum effective dose is really to remember that our secondary objective within the fat loss phase is maintaining as much muscle mass as possible. Therefore, if you're too aggressive with decreasing your calories when you reach a plateau and or you're too aggressive with increasing cardio too quickly, you can impede that secondary objective because you're more than likely going to start losing strength in the gym and therefore you'll start losing muscle mass. So therefore by applying this minimum effective dose to calories and or cardio to bust through this plateau allows you to consistently maintain strength and therefore maintain muscle mass. You really want to use the minimal effective dose to bust through this plateau. Additionally, another reason why this is critical is you don't want to back yourself into a corner. It's important to realize that there will be multiple fat loss plateaus within any given fat loss phase and therefore if you're too aggressive to cut calories and or you're too aggressive in increasing cardio you can put yourself in a position the next time you reach a plateau that you have no calories to cut from and or you've got no more room to add cardio sessions so therefore again that's why the minimum effective dose is absolutely critical to use to bust through the plateau but also not being too aggressive that you start losing strength and muscle mass so some practical applications what I like to do with my clients is usually I'll drop calories anywhere between 10 and 15 percent protein is going to stay the same and you're dropping either carbohydrates or fats or a combination of both within the context of a fat loss phase protein and total calories are the most important factors therefore let your personal preference dictate whether you drop carbs and or fats or a combination of both however you won't drop your fat below approximately 20 to 30 percent of total calories because fats are essential to the body and also these can have a influence on, on certain hormones as well so therefore you don't want to drop those too low within the fat loss phase so that could be one change a drop of 10 to 15% of total calories or adding in an extra cardio session. So this could be say for example a 10 minute hit session at the end of one of your weight training sessions. You could do a list session so if you could do 30 minutes, 20 minutes incline walk on the treadmill you could do a moderate intensity session as well. This could be a 20 minute run or cycle outside at a moderate speed. With that being said you don't want to be doing too much moderate intensity cardio within the context of the fat loss phase because with regards to that type of cardio you can see some endurance adaptations which is counterproductive to our strength adaptations we're trying to gain from our weight training sessions but in short you're doing one or the other either dropping calories and or adding in an extra cardio session or you may increase the duration of some of your cardio sessions but the point I'm trying to make is you want to make a small change then you're going to do that for a full week you're going to measure your progress hopefully that would have been enough to bust through the plateau if it was continue doing the same thing if it wasn't you might have to make another change so hopefully that's been useful hopefully you can see 
power of this minimum effective dose. Now, in addition to that, there may be a time where you may need a high carbohydrate refeed day. However, as I've discussed relatively recently on YouTube, it's important that you use this as a tool if you're lean enough. If you're a male under 15% body fat or a female under 20% body fat, this can be a tool to acutely negate some of those negative physiological adaptations which are starting to occur now you're lean enough. Additionally, this can help to raise a hormone called leptin and also to replenish glycogen and to provide a small psychological break from dieting. However, as I mentioned, just use these if you're lean enough. So hopefully you found this useful. Hopefully you can start applying some of the principles I've discussed in the podcast. If you're still yet to download my free book, How to Set Up a Nutrition Plan, if you go to James Layton, L-A-Y-T-O-N, fitness.co.uk, you can see a tab at the top of the page called free book and you can download that immediately. Thank you very much for listening and I look forward to speaking to you next week. Take care.